I've got a, a, one television station <laughs> that is entirely devoted to uh, uh, attacking my administration. Uh, I mean, you know, that's a pretty... I assume you're that, talking about Fox. And well, that's a, that's a pretty big megaphone. I mean, the reality of it is that Fox News often operates almost as either the research arm or the communications arm of the Republican Party. Obviously, he'll go on Fox because he engages with ideological opponents, and he has done that before. He will do it again. I can't give you a date because, frankly, I can't give you dates for anybody else right now. Well, here is the response by Fox News Senior Vice President Michael Clemente to Anita Dunn's remarks. An increasing number of viewers are relying on Fox News for both news and opinion, and the average news consumer can certainly distinguish between the A section of the newspaper and the editorial page, which is what our programming represents. So, with all due respect to anyone who might still be confused about the difference between news reporting and vibrant opinion, my suggestion would be to talk about the stories and the facts rather than attack the messenger, which over time has never worked. This is a battle that the White House has launched on Fox News. Anita Dunn says that the president will appear on Fox News sometime, possibly before the end of the year, but we have been told that all of our requests have been denied. We will continue to request, and he's welcome here on Special Report. We are back with the panel. Charles, what about this? Look, th this is a president who got so used to the, um, to the hagiographic, enthralled coverage that he had last year. Uh, that uh, he can't stand a network that, in the words of one analyst, is um, insufficiently obsequious. Um, you know, we don't have anchors here at Fox who get a thrill up their leg in the middle of an Obama speech. I don't, I don't recall it ever having happened, at least while I was on the set. The problem is for the administration, I'm not sure how smart it is to attack Fox. There were a lot of independents that administration, the president, has lost in public opinion. A lot of independents watch Fox, and they know, and the average American knows, that there is a difference between the A-section editorial, between opinion shows and news shows like this one. And one example, I think that this show has been incredibly scrupulous and analytic in looking at health care reform. Uh, you, your correspondents, like a Jim Engel, have gone so far out into the weeds that we needed search and rescue to get them <laughs> home alive. So the administration is an administration that's losing confidence in itself and, and does not lack opposition. You know, last year, in the, in the Bush years, dissent was the highest form of patriotism, and now it's a form of sedition. Juan. Well, the case...